up gaming fam this is your boy meeks from joystick junkies coming at you with a gaming update for the first week of august first up enosha the last song blasted xbox on twitter earlier this week or x whatever the hell you want to call it about a pretty much finished game that was indefinitely delayed due to a lack of communication with Microsoft, asking the community to make Microsoft aware of the situation. Later, hitting Twitter again, updating with a thank you to Phil Spencer for actually getting that process started so they can meet that release window. Now, I'm kind of wondering if this is a similar issue that's happening with Marvel vs. Capcom collection because it didn't have a release date, now it does have a release date. Problem is, instead of September 12th, it's not until 2025 on Xbox. I don't know what the hell is going on. Next up, we have CFO Hiroki Totoki. <laughs> damn, I hope I said that right, has claimed that PlayStation doesn't have enough original IPs. Totoki <gasps> claimed in a recent interview that the company is currently lacking an IP that built from scratch, whether it be for games, films, or anime. <laughs> I don't know what the hell this guy is talking about. You guys have more IPs than I think at Disney at this point. Like, what happened to Siphon Filter, right? What happened to SOCOM? You want to compete with Call of Duty? Bring back SOCOM. Oh my god. Next up, we have Delta Force. If you guys are a hardcore fan of Battlefield or you play Battlefield 2042, Delta Force is heavily inspired by the Battlefield and is exactly what Battlefield 2042 should have been released as, in my opinion. But that beta playtest is going to be ending on September 8th. So if you haven't checked it out, please check that out because it's not going to be coming out until Q1 of 2025. Next, we got Astrobot, released today actually, only on the PlayStation 5. It's a game for all ages, has a ton of cameos from PlayStation IPs. You hear that, Roki? Tons of cameos. Anyway, thanks for that coming out. Thank you, Asobo, for saving PlayStation's ass on this. I think on Metacritic, as of this recording, it's sitting at a 94. That is incredible. The only thing that's above that are Mario titles on the Switch, and we all know those damn near get 100 point scores anyway. Next up, Concord. For all you uh, Concord lovers out there, all 63 of you, well, today is the last day that you can rock out on that jack boy. That is going offline as of September 6th. And last up, we have Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Open Beta, running from September 6th to the 9th. If you are a Call of Duty fan, you're gonna love it. The new Omnidirectional is just insane. Changes the aspect of the game. It is very fast paced. If you haven't played Call of Duty, it is a free open beta. So whatever platform you are on, I highly recommend that you jump on it and try this one out because you try out that beta, you might just be picking it up. Some of the September game releases, starting with Warhammer 40,000, Space Marine 2, releasing on PC, PS5, Xbox Series X and S. For you ballers out there, those gaming ballers, if you bought the Gold or the Ultra Edition that came out today, and for you normal folks like myself, that comes out on the 9th of September. Followed up by Persona 3 Reload, Episode Aegis, The Answer DLC, coming out for PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Series X and S, that's going to be releasing on September 10th. And then we have Final Fantasy 16 for PC. If you loved it on PS5, if you hated the frame rate, the frame pacing, well, if you got a BP PC, well, you're going to be rock out with your cock out because that bad boy is going to be releasing on September 17th. Followed by Star Wars Jedi Survivor, releasing on PS4 and the Xbox One. I don't really understand how this one's releasing. It's still, to this day, at least for me, it doesn't even work on my PC, neither my Xbox current gen, so I'm not sure how that's going to work on previous gen consoles, but hey. Maybe EA will surprise us on that one. Next up, next game for you PC lovers out there, God of War Ragnarok. If you want to rock it with that uh, 16 by 9 PC goodness, depending on your graphics card, well, that's going to be rocking out on September 19th. 
and for you Switch fans, The Legends of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom were releasing on the 26th of September. This is actually a game that I'm probably going to pick up. I'm a huge fan of the top-down Zelda games, you know, old school, bringing back a lot of nostalgia, and this one just looks very interesting, and with every video that they release, it only looks better to me. Appreciate y'all. If y'all liked the video, give that a thumbs up. If y'all didn't, tough. But anyway, appreciate y'all watching. Hope y'all stay safe out there. Love you, gaming fam. Peace.